Thank you for everybody that's here, Lord. We just ask that you just continue blessing them and guiding them, Lord. We ask that you speak through me, Father God, that the word that I have today for, for my brothers and sisters, Father God, I pray that it pierces their heart, Father God, that today it speaks to them, Father God, that the things that have been going on in their lives, Father God, that this message will touch them, Father God. I ask that you just continue blessing us, Father God, and blessing our, our children, Father God, and blessing our families, Father God, and even our workplace, Father. So we just ask that you just continue working in our lives, Father God, so that we can bring many to you, Lord. So I just ask that you just uh, watch over this call, Father God, that nothing will stop it, nothing will block it, Father God, that every distraction will leave right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we just ask that you just come right now, Holy Spirit. We ask that you fill each and everybody's room right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And we all say, amen, amen, amen. So today, guys, today I just want to talk um, a little bit about um, something that a lot of us deal with, you know, a lot of us, you know, come to Christ and we still deal with it, you know, and, and, and I, I think it's a really big issue in the, in the body of Christ. I think it's a really big issue in, in people's um, decisions that they make and stuff. And um, I, I just felt that today that we had to speak on it, you know, um, I know, um, you know, for myself, I know that I've dealt with it, you know, and, and I believe that a lot of us today are, are still dealing with it, you know, and um, today we're going to be talking about negative self-talk and how it affects our life and how it affects our goals and, and affects what God has for us, right? Because um, by speaking negative, you know, out of our mouths, um, you know, sometimes we start believing it. We start believing the lie of, of, of the enemy. You know, once he starts speaking, you know, his voice will start getting louder than God's voice. And we start agreeing with whatever that we start hearing or whatever we start putting uh, into our minds, you know, whatever comes in our ears, you know, obviously is going to come into us and we're going to hear it and eventually we're going to start living it. And that's what we want to stop, guys. So we want to stop all the negative self-talk because really when you um, when you start talking negative about yourself, it starts to um, hold you back from um, what uh, what your potential uh, can reach, guys. You know, whatever, whatever your potential is. And if you keep talking uh, negative towards your goals and stuff, it's going to stop you for your potential in life, guys. And that's what we don't want. We don't want that to take effect. And we don't want that to um, slow us down in anything that God has in our lives. So um, I just want to read this verse really quick in uh, uh, Second Corinthians. It's 10.5. It says that we take captive of every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Guys, we have to take every single thought captive. If it's a negative thought that comes into our heart or comes into our mind, guys, we have to take those thoughts captive. If we don't take those thoughts captive, it's going to run. It's going to run, and we're going to start overthinking things. We're going to start um, doubting ourselves. We're going to start doubting the voice of God, right? If we continue to, um, you know, not take our thoughts captive, man, because if, if we... Um, if we let those thoughts get to us, you know, it's going to eventually, it's going to uh, reach our heart. And once it reaches our heart, you know, really what, what's in our heart is what we're going to speak. And what's in our heart is what we're going to think, right? And we, and once we, when, once it's in our heart, guys, and we speak it, then our ears will hear it, right? And then those thoughts will start, um, uh, we, uh, we start taking in those thoughts, guys, and, and, and once we take in those thoughts, those thoughts will start uh, directing our, our life, will start directing the way we think, start directing the things that we do, right? And we don't want that. We don't, we don't want anything that's negative to ever um, steer the boat, right? Or to say, like, we never want that to steer the boat and take us into the wrong direction. We got we to we slow down in our lives. We got to make sure that we're hearing from the right voice, guys. And so by that, you don't want to put yourself down, guys. You don't want to talk bad about yourself, you know? You never want to talk bad about yourself, guys. You never want to say, hey, I'm not worthy, you know? I, I'm, I'm, I'm worthless. I'm a failure. I'm not good enough. Once you start speaking that way and you start um, believing those, those lies from the enemy, those lies will start to run in your life, man. You know, we got to recognize that. We got to recognize the negative self-talk, guys, and 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 really, you know, um, understand what it's doing to our lives and doing to our 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 mind and emotions, right? Because um, 
if we let that run, then, then we'll start acting that way, right? You know, just 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 a, a little thing in my life, man. I, I used to think, you know, a lot of things and and um it wasn't until I started recognizing what 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 I was doing to myself, you know. I, I was I was acting certain ways and I would I would believe those lies that I would that I was speaking into myself, right? I would believe these lies, you know, that I was worthless, that I was just a drug addict, that I was just all these things, right? And so then I just started living those things out. And that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to get that far to where you start actually living out what you're actually taking in. You don't want to do that. If you're not taking in something good, this is a good way to understand um, when negative self-talk or you're not hearing the right voice. Is that if it's negative, if it's telling you you're not worthy, if it's telling you that you're not good enough, if it's telling you, you know, everybody doesn't like you, all those things, you know that that's the word of the enemy because God is not going to speak that way. God is going to speak life into you. God is going to speak truth. God is going to speak love, mercy, and grace, right? So by uh, with that, you, you you right away you'll 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 know you know that that's not from God. That's not from God. That's the enemy trying to speak to me. That's the enemy trying to take me down. That's the enemy trying to keep me in the place that I've been all my life, right? So with that, we have to understand, guys. We have to understand who we are in Christ, and we got to understand our worth our worth guys we got to understand it and we got to know what our worth is guys know who we are know who we are in christ know that god loves us know that god has made us you know that he has taken his time on each and every one of us guys right so you know negative self-talk goes against who god says we are if we talk bad about ourselves it goes against what god thinks we are and knows that we are guys right here in this verse and then in psalms uh 139 14 it says i praise you because i am fearful and wonderfully made guys that speaks a lot that speaks a lot you know god has has made us in his image he has shaped us he has molded us to be perfect he has made us to his image, guys, to grow, to 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 do the things that he wants us to do. You think that, that, that God didn't take his time on each and every one of us, guys? Do, do you believe that God just said, hey, I'm, I'm going to, you know, just whip up some people today and, and I'm not, you know, I, I'm not going to put my time into them. We were his children, guys. We are his children. So. By saying that we don't believe that God took his time and God uh, planned everything that we are is really saying that, you know, we go against, you know, what God says about us, guys. So, guys, when we talk bad about ourselves, when we talk negative about ourselves, when we say that God doesn't love me, God doesn't didn't take his time, that he messed up. God, that's not good. That's not good when we start speaking that way. We got to know that God has made us, like I said, in his image, guys. God has taken his time. He has put each and every one of us here, guys. He knows the, the, the hairs on your head, guys. So you got to understand your, 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 your worth that God has for you, right? So anything that goes against that, you know that that's the enemy speaking, saying that God, God don't love you. God don't, 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 um, you know, everything, everything that comes with that, you know, that, that God doesn't this or God doesn't that. That's the enemy trying to fool you, trying to keep you in the same spot that you've probably been, you know, in your life, you know, and stuff. So, you know, with that, you know, we, we have to, um, once we start feeling that, um, we're not worthy anymore, that we're, that we're not, uh, you know, loved by people, that we're not um, welcome around, you know, and we start, um, you know, talking down on ourselves, start negative self-talking about ourselves, guys. This is the time, guys. This is the time, guys, that we have to stop. We have to slow down. Forget about what's going on in the world. Forget about what's going on in your life. And it's time to regroup, guys. 
It is time to regroup. It is time for us to get back into our word. It is time for us to start reading the truth. And it's time for us to start reading the promises that God has for us. Because if we don't do that, guys, we're going to continue on this roller coaster that we've been on about talking down on ourselves, guys. And we don't want to do that because if, if we don't, if we, if we um, continue to do that, we're going to replace negative thoughts, guys, with the truth. And once we do that, it's going to be a hard time. It's going to be a hard time. There's going to be a lot of torment. There's going to be a lot of battles that we're going to have to fight. You know, there's going to be battles in our mind. There's going to be battles in, in, in the physical. There's going to be lots of battles, guys. If we don't know how to replace the negative thoughts with the truth, guys. So I want to encourage you guys, man, today that if if you're if you're starting to feel like you're you're getting pulled away, like God's not answering you or God, you can't hear God's voice no more, it's time to regroup. It is that time that we have to stop, slow down, get back into our word, get back to the place when we first came to Christ, guys. And we knew that first love, guys, that love of God, right? Because if we don't, we're going to backpedal, guys. We're going to backpedal and, and we're going to get too far, you know? So stop, take it easy, take your time and regroup, man. Let every other situation die and focus on yourself. Get back into that secret place, man. A lot of people have gone away with, with just trying to get away with the real quick morning prayer and, and then just go on about their day. Nobody wants to take the time to get up anymore. And and, and uh, I know a lot of people, I don't want to say to you guys, but I know a lot of people in the world, man, that, that don't want to even spend time with God. You know, we have to spend that time with God, man. We have to get in that secret place, not that just real quick prayer. We have to get deep. We have to get intimate with him. You know, we have to see what he has for us. You know, let him guide your footsteps, God. Guys, because if you don't, you know, that enemy is going to just come in and, and start speaking, speaking quick. And that and that's a dangerous place to be where the enemy's voice is louder than God's voice. We never want to get that far, guys, where we come in agreement with with whatever the enemy is trying to do in our lives. Right. So um, this verse right here on in Romans uh, 12, 2, it says, do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of the mind. See, this is what I was just talking about. When we get back into our word and we start to um, focus on God's word, we start focusing on what uh, the goodness of the Lord. This starts to renew our mind, guys. It will start to renew our mind. We will start thinking differently. The things that we're that were bothering us, the things that we were thinking that that um, that weren't good in our lives, that negative self talk, it will start to disappear, man. It'll start to go away once we start reading the truth in the Bible. The, everything else doesn't matter. Nothing else will matter because of the goodness that comes out of the Word, the truth that comes out of the Word, the love, the mercy, the grace. You know, all of that starts to come to life in your in your own life and you start living it out instead of being down and out uh, uh, you know trying to hide from people trying to stay in, in your in your own home trying to stay in your room you don't want to come out because you don't feel that people like you you don't feel that all this that's where the enemy wants us to be guys that's where the enemy has his hand on us and he has his foot on our neck to try to keep us down to not come out, to not come out and, and feel like people like us, that people want us around. You know, God is saying, look, man, his voice is louder than my voice right now. You need to take a step back. You need to, to, to um, what was that again? You need to renew your mind. You need to start renewing your mind. guys. Because if, if the enemy's voice is louder, I keep saying it because it's so true, man. I know that so many people, you know, even myself at, at times I would I would hear, you know, sometimes the you know the, the voice of the enemy louder than God's voice. And I'd be like, hold up, man, that's not that's not true. That's not that's not that's not what the word says. That's not what, what I've read. That's not what, what I've what I've seen. That's not that's not it. 
something's going on right here. I need to stop. I need to relax. I need to regroup and I need to get back into my word. I need to, to, to really focus on God. I need to spend that time with him. You have to do these things, guys. You have to do these things. You have to do it before work. You can't do it while you already started work because then your day's already started. You have to do it. There's, there's got to be commitment, guys. There's got to be commitment when we get up, get up in the morning. You know, we go to work at six. We got to get up at four, you know, things like that. You got to figure it out. Whatever, whatever is going to work for you, make it work. Spend that time with God. Start your day off with God. Don't start it midday. Okay. Don't start your time with God midday. When the enemy has already been working you all morning for five, six hours. And then you want to talk, you know, you want God to help you out it, and it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. But if you would have took that time, that one hour before you even started your day, it would have made a huge difference, guys. It would have made a huge difference. Just try it, man. Just try it and and and, and mark my words, man. Just try it and, and you'll see the difference, man. You will see the difference. Guys, and, and once we once we how do we know that we're hearing from the enemy, man? Like it it won't, it won't um you won't be speaking life into yourselves. You won't be speaking life, guys. You won't be speaking um like you, that you're worthy. You won't be speaking any of these things into your life, guys, if you're hearing from the enemy, you know. Once you start hearing that, you know, love, peace, joy, you're a good, you're a good person, you know, you, you're, you're, I made you in my image, you know, I, I, I loved you from the beginning, you know, and I still love you, you know. These types of things is what we need to hear. Read the word. It will speak to you, right? Because if we don't, trust me. You can get into a deep, deep, dark place, and we don't want to get to that place, guys. We don't got we don't we don't got time for that. We we're we're grown here now. You know we we're we're growing in 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 Christ. You know there's some new people, but you know the ones who have been in it for a while, man. You know the truth. You know the real. You know don't let the enemy speak to you. Don't let the enemy. We got to shut it down. We got to shut him out and and push him out, man, and rebuke him. Tell him, you ain't speaking to me today. You ain't going to speak to me ever. Get your hands off of me. Don't come near me. I'm a child of God, you know, and just and just pray that, man. Pray that into your life. Start speaking life prayers into your life, man. So, guys, that's this is this is all good stuff. And I and I hope it's 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 touching somebody because um, I just felt it, you know, really hard on, on my heart that I had to speak on this today. And uh, me and my wife have been talking about it. And, you know, and this has been laying heavy on us that a lot of people are feeling this type of way so i hope this is touching somebody and um just know that amen amen so guys instead of focusing instead of focusing on on personal failures and weaknesses guys it's time to start recognizing that god's strength is made perfect in our weaknesses right that god's strength is made perfect in our weakness. God will walk with you and everything, guys. Know that God hasn't left you. Know that God is walking alongside with you. God is God is, is watching everything that's happening. God is not going to let you fall. God will lift you. God will be with you. God will walk alongside you when you don't think he's even there. So when you start letting this enemy start speaking to you, know that God is with you. Know that all you got to do is cry out to him. Know that you got to just let that, um, that that other voice go, right? Guys, I'm, I'm telling you, man, this 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 um, this voice, man, it, it will get loud. It will get loud if you let it. If you let, you know, you give fuel to the fire, it, it will it will ignite. So we can't give no type of fuel to this enemy. And let his voice get louder than God's. So I want to read this really quick. It's Proverbs um, 18, 21. And everybody knows this, man. Everybody knows this. It says, the tongue has the power of life and death. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Guys, <laughs> you have to know what type of fruit you are eating. You have to indulge in the good fruit, guys. Not this rotten stuff. 
know the fruits, man, that you are letting to come into your heart, letting come into your mind, letting come into your ears. Guys, you guys got to know this, man. Know this, man. If you start seeing, you know, more negative talk, you know what that is, man. It's time for us to stop listening to the wrong voice. It's time for us to stop listening to the wrong voice, right? And it's time for us to start speaking life into ourselves. It's time for us to, to, to speak joy into ourselves. It starts, it starts, it's, you know, we got to speak life into ourselves, not just ourselves and others as well. People around us, start surrounding yourself around new people. Start surrounding yourself about, around people that are that are uplifting, the people that are speaking life into you as well. It's very important that we have community. It's very important that we have friends that will speak life into us. Don't get around friends that want to speak gossip and bring negative into your life. We don't want to do that. We don't want those friends right now. We, 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 can, we can put them aside for a little bit so we can get right, so we can get to the right voice that needs to be speaking to us, and then we can come back and minister to them as well. Right? And get them out of their rut. And get them out of their negative thinking. Get them out of the, the, the way that, that they have been speaking over their own lives, over their children's life, over everybody that they know. You know, if you've got people that are around you right now that are, you know, just negative all the time that's gonna that's gonna start reflecting on you that's gonna start coming off on you if you hang around around them enough that negativeness will start coming off on you trust me i know it's happened to me i've been around people that were negative all the time they were always down talking to somebody and, and i would just jump in with them you know that that's not good once once that starts to happen you know that you're hearing the wrong voice and you need to like I said, relax, step and stay, take a step back and get to where you need to be. Get on your knees, cry out to God, let him know, hey, forgive me. I'm sorry. I repent of my sins. I repent of speaking ill about somebody. I repent about speaking ill about myself. And Father, I just ask that you forgive me and give me grace, right? So, um, like I said, let's hear God's voice. Okay, so um, to be honest with you guys and to... Um, to really uh, <laughs> to show you like the voice that's actually speaking to you, the voice that's actually um, keeping you in, in, in that um, in that area, in that spot uh, where you can't move forward, where you can't, where you don't feel like people love you, where you don't feel like people, you know, enjoy your time, you know. I, I want to. I just want to let you guys know this. I want to let you guys know this, man, that that voice that's speaking to you is actually a familiar spirit. It's actually a familiar spirit, a familiar spirit from your past that knows your struggles, that knows how to keep you in that place of, of negative self-talk. It's that spirit that's been around that's seen you fail. It's seen you speak ill about people. It's seen you do all these bad things and it tries to keep you in that spot. So he, that, that, that familiar spirit will get loud and it will start speaking to you. And that's when all these negative things, you know, this, this, this stuff, you know, starts to come onto your life. And yes, exactly. We got to bind that spirit, tell us to leave. It has to be, you know, rebuke that spirit. Tell us, don't speak to me, man. You familiar spirit right now in the mighty name of Jesus, you got to leave. You got to go. You don't come around me in Jesus mighty name and rebuke it and continue with your life man and know the truth know the truth and what god has for you guys you know um you know that even this even this i, I just want to tell you guys um a little story um we got to know that, that sometimes that when we um when we feel a certain way or we feel certain things, guys, uh, um, you know, and, and, it, and it's a negative thing, we you know sometimes we, we have to, we have to sit back and we have to wait it out. We have to figure out what the situation is. If it's something, if something negative pops into your mind, you can say, God, what, what is that? Why did, why am, why did that come into my mind? What's, what's the problem? 
let's just say, for instance, fear. If fear comes into your to, to your heart all of a sudden, you got to stop and ask God, like, God, is that for me? What is that? I know I don't have fear. I know I know I don't have fear. You know, I have a sound mind. Father God, tell me what it is. What do you want me to do? If there's somebody here that that that's dealing with fear, you want me to 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 pray for them. What is it? You know, because if if we start feeling fear right away, we start getting to the negative. Like, wow, I'm scared. I'm scared. I I need to get out of here. I need to go. I I, I need to I need to run from here. Right. So I just want to I, I want to tell you this. I, I was I was sitting in the church and and I was I was we were sitting there and right before the service even started, I felt somebody walk past me and, and um I was you know I was praising and, and all of a sudden I told my I told my wife, I said, um I feel like I feel like anxiety over me. Like I, I know that's not for me. I said, I, I said I, I know that's not for me. I said, I don't feel anxiety, I don't have anxiety. That's not that's not for me. I, I, I don't know. In that moment, I could have let the enemy starts speaking to me and, and and let me get into it. Like, Oh, I'm, I'm feeling anxiety. I need to go. I need to leave. I, I you know, I, I'm going to take off. I, I don't want to hear this message or, or whatever. Right. I could have let that happen, but instead I stopped and I said, God, I know this isn't from you. I know. What do you want me to do? This is this. I'm, I have anxiety. I, I don't know why I know it's not for me. What do you want me to do? And I sat and I listened I didn't panic. I didn't, I didn't try to continue more and more. I just, I just got calm. I started praying. I, I, I worshiped. I, I listened to the message. And, and as I was listening to the message, I, um, it was going in that direction of anxiety and, 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 and these types of things, right? You know, I was discerning. So what happened is that the pastor had walked by me. When he walked by me, he, he, he sat kind of in front of me and, and, and went up and, and gave the sermon gave you know he preached and stuff so um at the end he was saying how anxiety is 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 killing this world it's killing our kids it's, it's, it's like taking over and so i said oh okay this is what it was you were telling me that this is what the message was going to be about but if i would have panicked and i would have freaked out and i would have left i would have never heard that you know i would have left that the church and i would have said well why why do i have anxiety what you know but but i sat back i listened I relaxed and, and I just, I just kept listening. I just went quiet. Right. So guys, what I want to say is this, is don't jump to, to things right away. You know, don't let the enemy's voice fool you and what, what, what God has for you guys. Right. Don't let the enemy fool you for what God has for you. That's what I want to tell you guys, man. So guys, I just want to tell you guys this, like, um, you know, when we come on here, I, you know, we, we, we try to, um, you know, I sit back and I, and I ask God, like, what do you want me to speak on, man? He wanted me to speak on this guy. So I, like I said, man, I, I hope that this is really helping somebody. I hope that the voice that you start to hear or the voice that, that starts to get louder in, in your life will be God's voice. And it won't be the enemy's voice. And if you do feel that way, if you need help, whatever, reach out to one of us, reach out to you know, frontline, reach out to whoever you need to reach out to. Get deliverance of that. You know, get your freedom. Don't let the enemy's voice get louder. Before it does, get your freedom, guys. Right? So I want to leave you guys with these prayer points, you know. And I want you guys to um, uh, pray for a renewal of the mind, guys. We have to have renewal of the mind. If we don't have renewal of the mind, guys, then we're going to stay in the same place that we've always been. And we don't want that. We want to grow. This is why we came to Christ. We want to grow. We want something different. We don't want to live in, in torment anymore. We don't want to live in the past. We don't want to live in all these things, right? We have to grow. So there has to be renewal of the mind. There has to be dying of the flesh, right? Dying of the flesh is very important, guys. We have to deny ourselves to even grow. And when we start growing, that's when the renewal of the mind will start, right? So guys, always pray for renewal of the mind. And pray, guys, for strength and courage, guys. Always pray for strength and courage over your life right? 
pray for strength and courage over your life. And another big thing that we have to do is pray for inner healing. Whatever's in your heart, guys, you have to let it go. Forgiveness, you have to let it go. It has to happen. Forgiveness has to happen for you to grow, for you to start renewing your mind. Forgiveness has to happen. Your past has to be let go. Your flesh has to die, right? But inner healing, guys, is for you. And the forgiveness is for you. It's never for the people to say, oh, I forgive that person for whatever they did to me. No, the, the forgiveness has to come so that that way God can work in your heart. So he can start the inner healing in your life so that your freedom can come, right? It's never about the other person. It's about you. It's about what God wants to do in your life. So when you do those things, it's for you, right? And pray for guidance and wisdom, guys. That's really big. You guys need to pray for guidance and wisdom. Pray for that guidance and wisdom, man, and for the right people to come into your life, guys. You know, you have to pray for these people to come into your life, you know, and, and, and help you out, man. Like I, like I said earlier, man, we have to surround ourselves with um, brothers and sisters in Christ and, and people who, um, who want to grow with us, right? If somebody's coming into your life and, 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 you know, you guys don't see the same, maybe it's time, you know, let that person sit back for a little bit and continue to grow, guys. Continue to grow. Don't let nobody stop what God has already ordained for you. Don't let nobody stop the footsteps that God has already placed in front of you. Right? You got to keep pushing. You got to keep growing. You got to keep moving forward. Don't go backwards. We always have to keep going forward, guys. So with that, man, I just want to say this, man. I, I just want to ask. I just want to tell you guys, like, which fruit are you guys really eating? Which fruit are you guys really eating? Are you eating the, the, the good fruit that God, you know, is speaking to you, saying that you're worthy, that, that you're my child, I love you, you're special to me, you know, nothing can pluck you from my hand. Are you hearing those type of things? Or are you hearing that the rotten fruit that says that you're not worthy, you're nobody, nobody wants to be around you, you know, you, you're, you're, you're an issue, you're a problem, you know. Those types of words we don't want to hear. So again, guys, make sure that you're hearing the right voice. Because if you're not hearing the right voice, I'm sure that you're going to fall real quick. And I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. I want to see my brothers and sisters grow in Christ. I want to see them be successful. I want to see them, you know, if, if you hear a voice that's saying, you know, that job's not for you. This is this saying, you know, this ain't the right time. This ain't this, this ain't that. You know what voice that is, guys. Because if that door has been open for you to get that job, that means that God has opened that door for you to get that job. There's no need for you to have anxiety. There's no need for you to have fear to go to that interview. There's no need for any of that. When God has already opened that door, God's going to open doors that no man can shut. So why are you having fear? Don't have fear. Chase after what God has placed in front of you. And know what he's placed in front of you. Amen? So guys... I think that's uh, where I'm going to go ahead and stop. But um, like I said, man, just know that we don't want to hear Satan's voice or the enemy's voice. That we want to hear God's voice and we want to stop the negative self-talk, guys. Start speaking life into yourself. Start speaking life into others. Right? Know, know who you are in Christ. Know what your purpose is here on this earth. You know, know why you've been placed here. You've been placed here for a reason. You're here for a reason. You're not here on accident. You know, start just speaking life into yourself. Is what I want to leave you guys with. And again, I hope that this has um, helped somebody. I hope that, that uh, you guys are going to grow from this. Um, and I, if anybody here, um, has been, you know, speaking negative about themselves or speaking negative about others, you know, I want to, I want to pray really quick. And I, I believe that this, uh, this negativity will, will leave you if, if, you know, things will start changing in your life. I think, um, the things that you've been stressing about will, will, will start to leave, you know, 
Uh, I believe this because I know what God can do. I know that God doesn't want to see you in a place of suffering. He wants to see you in a place of growth. And uh, he wants to see everybody grow. So I believe that um, today um, you guys will grow from this. Amen. So, Father, I just thank you. I thank you for each and every person here today. I ask, Father God, that right now in the mighty name of Jesus, that every bit of negative self-talk, Father God, will leave their life right now in Jesus' mighty name. I ask, Father, that you just continue working in their hearts. Continue working in their minds, Father God. Let them know who they are in Christ, Father. I ask that you just continue blessing them, Father. I ask that anything that is stopping them, Father God, from hearing your voice right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, that it leaves their life right now, in Jesus' mighty name, that nothing can touch them, Father God, and that every door, Father God, that you have opened, no man can shut, Father. So I ask right now, Lord, that you continue to bless them, that you continue to guide them, Father God. And I ask that you put a hedge of protection over their life that no enemy can touch them, Father God. So right now, in Jesus' mighty name, I ask for strength right now over each and every one of their lives. I ask, Father God, the ones who have fallen, Father, I ask that, the, that you lift them up, Father God. And I pray right now, Father God, that each and every one of our lives will decrease, Father God, so that you can increase in our life. I ask that you just continue to guide us, Lord. Continue to guide our footsteps. Stir us in the right direction, Father God, that we need to go and where we need to be. And Father, I ask that you just kill that voice, Father God, that speaks negative to each and every one of my brothers and sisters in Christ right now. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. Well, guys, I thank you. I thank you for sharing this time with me. Um, again, I pray that um, that you guys will jump on our call on Wednesday as well for uh, intercessors that are, if there's any intercessors on here, um, I pray that you guys will um, come and join us and uh, get in depth of interceding, how to intercede for your family members, for your church members, for your church, for, for your husband, for your wife, you know, and, you know, whatever it is, man, uh, show up, uh, you know, every class, you know, you can jump on, man. You can, you can, you can even tell people that aren't part of the front line that they can, they can join too. If you know that they're intercessors, you know, they can come and, and join and listen and, and grow from that. And then on Thursday, you can also invite whoever you want, uh, even if they're not part of frontline um, and they can learn to be disciples. You know, we got a disciple class that's uh, very good. It's, it's taught by a, a very, very good uh, person. What happened here? I don't know what happened. Okay. So, um, Carla, so um, if you guys want to jump on that, you know, jump on that. Uh, it's a very good class. Like I said, they really get in depth. They really, um, they're really good teachers, uh, Miriam and Carla. So, and I'm here on Mondays. So I pray again that, you know, your, your week will be blessed. I pray that, you know, the things that uh, you've been worrying about will leave, you know. Um, uh, yeah, somebody have a question. Yeah, Pastor, um, can we take one question? Just yeah. one. There's someone. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask um, drummer Ryan to unmute. Amen. Uh, good night, everyone. Um, hope you guys doing great tonight. Um, very good word. I received that. Amen. Um, I have a question. Uh, I see this was... Uh, it was the title was a prison ministry. Is this a prison ministry something? Yes, yes, it is. This is this is a prison ministry. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Did you have okay. you know, were you were you uh, locked up before, or or do you have somebody that's that's uh, incarcerated? Yes, I I was incarcerated. Um, okay. I'm home uh, six years now. Okay. And, Amen. And uh, I was a facilitator at my um at the. The facility I was serving at for uh, five years, mm -hmm. and um, I was also teaching Bible study in there. So uh, that's why I ask, you know, because I'm more, in, uh, I'm very interested in to try to get back because I'm trying to see how I can get into the system mm -hmm. to go back to these places to um, speak to these men because there is 
there is men that is very hungry in there because when I was there, I see it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've been trying to get in, but, you know, the system is so hard after. I don't know if you heard about that escape that happened uh, years ago. Uh, which one? Uh, by, uh, uh, where was that? With the two where, guys. Where, 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 where are you located at? Uh, New York. In New York, okay. Yeah, this was in upstate. Uh, you heard about it. I think it was uh, 2014, 15, somewhere around there. I'm trying to think. Yeah, two guys had escaped from a prison in upstate New York. Okay. And uh, they, they had caught caught them. One of them died, I think. Um, or they shot one of them, something like that. But anyway, okay. uh, since after that, since after that happened, you know, everything had become so hard to get into the prison system to go and minister to these um, individuals. So that's why I, I was very concerned because I, I, I was listening with what you were saying. And, you know, um, if there is any way we can do something with that, I'm more than willing to be a part of that. Okay. Hey, um, what, what I want you to do, I want you to um, leave your email in the chat. Okay. okay. And, and um, we'll reach out to you and then we can talk a little bit more about what uh, the ministry is all about and stuff. And, um, you know, when God gave me this ministry, we thought it was just going to be about prisons, but it was so much bigger than that. So, um, but yeah, definitely just leave your, um, your email in the chat and uh, we'll reach out to you. And then, Oh yeah, yeah. of course, we, of we course. Because online. One of the things is, is that uh, you don't have to be incarcerated to be in prison. No, no, uh, no, no there's no. many people. There's many people out there that they trap themselves in prison, and yeah. they're not seeing it. You know, yeah. um, so that's uh, that's very good with what you you started, and that's something I wanted. I had wanted to start it, and I'm mm-hmm. glad that I'm part of this group because I met Apostle when he was in Queens here at Liberty Bible Fellowship. Okay. Okay. So that's how come I get into you guys and I get to know. But I thank you. I will leave my email and my information. Okay. God bless you. Yeah. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Look at look for his uh, name in the chat and his email, um, and then we'll reach yeah. out to him. We chat to you because we actually go into prisons as well and minister. So just leave your email. Okay, we have um. Abby, and I think that will be our last question. Sorry, let me let me re. Um... Okay, I think I got. <laughs> Are you able to hear me? Yes. Yes. Oh, great! Oh, great! Thank you so much. This was such a good, um, uh, a, a great um, message because there's so many people that are. They don't realize that the negative talk they're doing it against themselves like that. Is there any way that we can we can listen to this again, this message again? Yeah, I'm thinking. Um, babe, can you answer yes. that? Yes. Yeah, there. it'll be it will be posted <clears throat> on YouTube probably by within two days. It'll be reposted on YouTube, and so um, I'll put again our YouTube um information in the chat so then you can see it great thank you uh-huh thank you amen guys okay. amen hey guys i just want to say this really quick too i i know that you know we're a prison ministry it's not like a regular ministry where we can go into you know we have a church service we do have a church service but it's not a church service where we can take up offerings so guys if you you know, if it's in your heart, whatever, if you feel like donating to the ministry, that's how we keep it going. That's how we get to go to places. That's how we were able to go to Nicaragua and minister to the people in Nicaragua. And it's, and it's the way that we go to Florida and minister to the women, you know, it, it costs, right? And and we can we can do it. But, I, you know, it, it's always great to have help from our brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, who believe. In, in the in the move and believe in, in what we're doing and, and believe the people that we can reach you know and bring to christ you know and and, and speak the word to them but um you know it's not it's not like we can take up offering and i'm not begging for my i'm just i'm just saying if it's in your heart you know so in it, it's going to be in good it's in good soil you know you'll be you'll be sowing a seed into good soil guys so um i, I just asked if you guys you know find this teaching or whatever you don't have to pay for teachings but i'm just saying if it's on your heart you guys can give anyway you know and and all your your giving is, is really appreciated because like i said we're able to go places and go minister and even when we go to different places we don't just go to prisons we also go visit um orphanages and we go to um 
uh, these other like halfway homes and we're able to take them things. We're able to take them clothes. We're able to take them food. We're able to take them all these different things. So with your donations, that's, that's what we do with it. So, so again, God bless you guys. We love you. And, um,